What's going on, Jerome's? Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings offensive line <sighs> hasn't been great so far this season. Now, injuries is a big part of it, but it is what it is. And the Vikings, uh, despite a 93-yard effort from Alexander Madison week three, are still 31st in the National Football League in terms of rushing, which is... Not good when there's only 32 teams in the league, uh, as well as quarterback Kirky Wood, Jerome Ezekiel Cousins, fresh off a season where he had a career high in sacks, pressures, and hits, uh, has already taken some punishment this year. Uh, 22 hits, uh, which is most in the NFL, by uh, six. Uh, Jared Goof is number two with 16. Also, he's been sacked uh, eight times, and it's just just been kind of rough. And the main uh, issue has been that interior offensive line, especially last year where uh, Ezra Cleveland, Garrett Bradbury, and Ed Ingram, who was a rookie then, we're not very good, uh, and uh, it was a major issue, especially in that wild card game. That quick interior pressure, you know, Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams just really got after Kirk Cousins' ass, and it's been uh, a feature, not a bug, which is really unfortunate. Also, it's kind of amazing what uh, Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson has, and this passing game have been able to do, uh, despite the lack of protection. And when the Vikings signed Dalton Reisner, the question was, uh, who was he going to replace? Uh, sec uh, second year, second round pick Ed Ingram at right guard or uh, Ezra Cleveland at left guard, who's in, in a contract year? Well, frankly, Ezra Cleveland has been playing some damn good football, and it's actually really impressive, especially since uh, he's doing it uh, with Derisaw being injured. He's had three different left tackles on his left, and then uh, Bradbury's been missing time, so Schlutman's been in, so he's had two different centers on his right, so the fact that he's still able to hold down that side of the line is really impressive, and Ezra, so far the season, 72.9 uh, uh, PFF grade, which is eighth in the league amongst qualifying guards, 76.6 PFF pass blocking grade, which is ninth in the league, uh, six pressures and zero sacks allowed, and Compare that Ed Ingram. I know Ed Ingram is doing good things in run blocking, and I know that he's working his ass off, but it just seems like he can't get out of his own way at times. Uh, three sacks allowed this season, including two on Sunday against the Chargers, uh, plus has three penalties, has allowed 13 pressures, and overall, it's just been rough. Uh, it's just been really rough again. So uh, Ezra Cleveland needs to be the guy that remains on the field. If Kevin O'Connell is talking about getting his best five offensive linemen out there, uh, Cleveland Rocks needs to be among them. And it's good timing for Ezra uh, because no one's better than Ezra. I think it's the first time that we've used that pun. Uh, but he's in the final year of his rookie deal, uh, coming in as a 2020 second-round pick out of the Boise State University. And I, I do think that Ezra Cleveland is going to get paid, whether here or somewhere else. I think it's likely going to be somewhere else. Uh, again, Ezra Cleveland is a physical freak. He's got long arms. He's six foot six. He's 3'11". Amber is the color of your energy. And I think that he is going to get left tackle coin somewhere. Where I mean, Ezra has been the good soldier here. Like, he was drafted in 2020 to likely be the future franchise left tackle, but then uh, the Vikings in 2021 were able to get Derisaw, and he kicked inside uh, because that was a spot that was available because he wasn't taking over right tackle from Brian O'Neill. And he's developed. Like, every single year he's gotten a little bit better, and this year he's playing well despite very trying circumstances around him. So, you know, props to Ezra Cleveland, and he does need to stay on the field, and we need him to continue to keep stepping it up in a contract year, uh, and then we'll go from there. And if Ezra, you know, gets paid in free agency, the Vikings get a nice comp pick in 2025, uh, the Vikings retool. And again, I like Ezra Cleveland, but this whole just having athletic light tackles kick inside the guard, mm, give me the short armed 330 pound uh, dude and who's just not going to move. We, we, we're after that ass. That's right, man. Uh, but respect to Ezra Cleveland has been paying well this year. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Ezra has been solid. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.